Are you looking for a way to prototype an IoT application that maybe uses multiple types of connectivity? Let's say that on one hand you're using mesh networking um, to, collect a, to connect a bunch of sensor nodes out at the edge, and on the other hand you want to use like an IP-based backhaul up into the cloud. Well, if you are, then you've come to the right place. I'm Brandon Lewis, and this is the DevKit Weekly with Qualcomm's QCA 4020 product development kit. So the QCA4020 product development kit from Qualcomm is unique in that it supports Bluetooth 5 and uh, mesh networking, notably acquired during the uh, CSR acquisition that Qualcomm did a few years back. It also supports 802.11n Wi-Fi and 2.4 or 5 gigahertz bands, as well as an 802.15.4 uh, Phi and Mac layer, which enables support for connectivity protocols like ZigBee 3.0 or Thread. But what really makes that all of relevance to you is that there are also three radios on the QCA 4020 module here, so that actually Bluetooth, Thread, Wi-Fi, or Bluetooth Zigbee Wi-Fi can all be running concurrently um, on the same application on the same device. So down to the nitty gritty of the QCA 4020 um, SOC, which is over here in this module um, on the development kit, there's an ARM Cortex M4F and that runs it up to 128 megahertz. And one of the benefits here is that you have 300, kilo, 300 kilobytes of RAM, um, 32 kilobyte uh, cache controller, and also the ability uh, to do execute in place from an external flash device. Um, so there's plenty of uh, memory space there. But in addition, the, there are also dedicated processors for the various connectivity stacks, so you're not overburdening that M4, uh, which you would use as an application processor with all of the wireless networking. And those each come with their own isolated RAM and ROM. Um, so you're really completely separating the networking from whatever application you decide to do on that M4F. But going even further into offloading that M4F of a lot of additional uh, workload that it doesn't necessarily have the resources perhaps to, to take on, um, there is an always on sensor hub that includes hardware accelerators um, so that you can quickly uh, take advantage, take information off of the sensors that are on the board, which we'll get to in a second, do a little bit of pre-processing and then interface them on um, if need be to that application CPU. So there's also uh, built-in hardware security that enables things like secure boot. There's a trusted, uh, uh, a true random number generator. It, there's obviously a trusted execution environment being that a lot of this uh, chip is based off of ARM technology. There are eight sensors on here. There's a three axis acceler accelerometer, gyro mag, uh, mag um, temperature, pressure, humidity, but there's also a passive infrared sensor and an ambient light sensor if you wanna start doing some unique types of prototyping. And you'll also see that there are Arduino connectors. So like so many other development boards today, it's really advantageous to be able to interface with some of those broader ecosystems that are established like Arduino, Raspberry Pi. Then as any good engineer would like to know, you'll be happy uh, to learn that there's an Eclipse-based IDE or Eclipse-based IDEs uh, that are compatible with the QCA 4020 product development kit so you can get up and developing software and debugging uh, really quickly within a familiar environment. In addition, there's support for HomeKit, which I'm not sure if that's defunct anymore or not, but Apple HomeKit is supported. Um, or what's left of it. Also, uh, the Open Connectivity Foundation um, and their connectivity frameworks uh, to help you get a bunch of into a bunch of e an ecosystem of a bunch of connected devices uh, quickly. Then, probably most importantly, since this is a connected uh, platform, is the compatibility with the Amazon AWS IoT uh, software development kit as well as the Microsoft. Azure IoT SDK or IoT devices SDK. And what that really means is that you're enabled to you're able to develop software on this platform and then quickly uh, get information that's coming off of all of these nodes um, locally at the edge and pipe them back up into the cloud-based offerings that either Amazon or, or Microsoft provide. So 
All in all, for the QCA4020 uh, product development kit, there aren't a whole lot of alternatives out there. Um, the ability to really do multi-mode, simultaneous, multi-protocol connectivity is pretty unique. I know that Silicon Labs uh, has uh, some similar technologies that are available through some of their development kits, um, but there's really not a whole lot else that, out there that I know of. If you do know of one, please drop it in the comments below and maybe we'll try and get our hands on it and review one of those. If you're interested in getting your hands on the QCA4020 product development kit, you can get it from electronics components distributors like Era, Fujiki Mauser, and the like for $75. But if you're thrifty, this one is available, this one in my hand, to the winner of our weekly raffle, which you can enter by either following the link in the description below, or if you're on the Embedded Computing Design website, the form to enter the raffle is listed uh, or is embedded directly into the page. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week on DevKit Weekly.